Okay, so to start, we want to drain all the old coolant out by loosening the red drain valve at the bottom of the radiator. Just make sure that you don't pull it all the way out. And if your coolant looks like gold, then that means you're running on the original coolant. Our main goal here is to split the cooling system with a separate reservoir specifically for the supercharger circuit. And this is a must if you have an M113K because they heat soak very easily. Time to install our mounting hardware for the tank. Now, I used a punch just to mark where to drain holes and then I was able to install the 8mm bracket bolts and I used this 8mm tool that came with some IKEA furniture because it was just thin enough to get in there and really it's just to hold the nut while you tighten down the bolt. Also make sure that your reservoir clears the fan, it's a very very tight fit in here. Now we have to cap off the bleed line from the supercharger circuit and this is because once we split the systems, if we left this connected, it would just drain all the coolant back into the main engine reservoir. To keep things nice and neat, I'm I actually used a straight connector piece just to get this hose all nice and tidy. And now we just tackled the H fitting and instead we're going to split the cooling circuits. So what we're trying to do here is put a straight hose fitting for the engine circuit and install a T fitting for the new supercharger coolant reservoir. You just line everything up and install the new hose connectors like we just saw in the diagram. The top hoses are part of the engine coolant circuit while the bottom with the T fitting is for our supercharger circuit. And after that you want to temporarily connect a small bleed hose to where we capped it off before and have it pour into the new reservoir while you also hot wire the intercooler pump so it circulates through. When you don't see any more bubbles, that means you're done. And it's really important to know that when you drive, it will still burp out some more air so it'll splash around and that's why you want to keep an eye on the coolant level. The reservoir should only ever be filled about halfway. Anyway, there's plenty more R230 content coming soon so subscribe now now and I'll catch you in the next one.